drum roll. I'm one year natural, yay. So I'm actually one year and um, a month natural. And I'm sorry this is this video is late, but I'm actually one year, um, you know, one year and one month natural. And it's been a journey, actually it's been a journey. So I remember actually when I did my big shop video, I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. And like my anticipation, how I felt, and it's just been really, really, really good. So far, the year's been good. But I actually wanted to go natural in 2011, but I didn't know how to go about it. I wasn't sure if I was ready to do it. So um, in 2011, I started researching, you know, um, how to care for your hair. And I had my hair texturized at that time. So I was like, okay, let me try and care for my hair. I remember what it looked like when I was um, 12 years old and then I, I had my first texturizer when I was 12 so I said okay let me just try um, and care for it a bit more so I looked into YouTube and I found Liz Liz Live I found you love Megs and I was just you know looking into their videos and you know getting involved in actually caring for my hair so they were the first people I kind of started with and then um, in 2012 I was like okay this is this is it this is it I want to actually go natural I want to transition so I started looking at transitioning videos and then I transitioned for a year and in um, October the 30th I big up so I cut my hair I cut off all my texturized hair and I like I said I transitioned for a year so um, I cut it off my friend cut it for me and it was a really really good time it was really good and um, my experience so far I've just been experimenting with my hair and I've loved every bit of the journey okay so um, my experience so far with being natural has been really good I haven't had really um, much negativity um, I remember when I first cut my hair and I think I went into sixth form um, after the half term and I think I must have heard someone say oh she cut her hair but it was like a remark that I just ignored it but um, I haven't had anything bad so far so I'm happy about that thank god um, I've had setbacks in my hair journey so most of the time I've actually trimmed my hair twice this year and my hair's been on kind of like my um, collarbone for three months I'll say now for three months now it's been on my collarbone and um, and this is because I've had some breakage which is due to you know my tools that I use and the rough handling of my hair but I can obviously change the setbacks and I've learnt from them I didn't use to dip condition as often and now I'm going to dip condition more often so you just learn so this year has been like a learning curve for me I've learned so much about my hair and the things that I do and the way I can change the things that I do journey I wouldn't change anything apart from you know incorporating more protective style into my hair care so I can retain my length um, I would deep condition more often like I said I would try to finger detangle more that's one thing I try to finger detangle more often than I used to so I can retain length again so now for me it's just making sure my hair is healthy and it's growing and I'll try and incorporate protein so treatments with as the well. texture of my hair I have like different textures um, so the front is quite thick and dense and the back is fine and um, thinner so it's thinner at the back um, and I think that th at, right at the back is a lot um, smoother and straight than um, the front here and I think that's because when I first started transitioning I used to straighten so I think my curls are looser at the back here right at the back but um, for most part it's quite thick it's quite dense and it's kinky so it's kinky at the roots um, I have like the head my head shape is like a triangle if you know like it goes out and then thin at the back so I like the style of that when I first cut my hair my texture was different because it was short so it was I think I couldn't feel the textures as much but once it started to grow out the back I thought was um, tighter actually became looser and the front which I thought was you know moderate actually became thicker and the more I use custard oil the more it seemed like the front of my hair is getting thicker to me but um yeah um I'm embracing it it's my hair and it's you know 
all its fullness and glory um, it's strong because I washed it today and I didn't want to stretch it out and I think God had a reason for that because I didn't actually plan on shooting this video today but it just happened like that so this is my um, shrinkage that I get and at the front of my hair this is the length I'll take my glasses off so this is the length at the front of my hair so it's just on my nose like under my nose um yeah and yeah shrinkage um this is the side show you guys the side um, This is the side, so far, look at there, the other side, there, um, so, mm. I don't know if you can see the crown here, the crown is like all the way here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but the crown's there. <laughs> okay, for the back. Um, the back is, like I said, on my collarbone. So, the back is on my collarbone. The other side of my back again. This one's not really on my collarbone, so you know how hair grows um, at different rates. So this one's like not there yet, but it's nearly there. Um, and yeah, also I have a really long neck, so obviously that affects the way you see my hair and you know how people see the growth. So for me, because my neck is really long, it might seem like it's taking me forever, but I actually like the fact that my neck is long because it makes me work harder at making sure it reaches my collarbone. My favourite style as a natural would be a flat twist or um, a braid out. Those are my favourite styles. What are my styles. plans to do for the next, you know, year? My plans for the next year are to um, grow it past collarbone, but I like to trim my hair, so I trimmed it twice this year, so I'm going to try to trim it twice again but make sure I retain more length um, and I plan to straighten my hair I don't know when yet but I'm going to do it um, I plan to also try dreadlocks <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work out but my plan is um, try dreadlocks and then cut my hair because I I want to cut my hair for some reason I want to cut it so if I do decide to cut it I'll probably try dreadlocks for probably like three months or something or like six months and then cut it and then grow it back out again but at the moment I want to straighten try dreads um cut it and uh I want to I don't know about dyeing my hair I'm not sure about dyeing my hair so but those are the Thank you guys for watching. I hope you continue uh, to like, subscribe and um, share this video. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.